Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's rewind the clock to a time when Meghan was a mere Z-lister, hustling for her spot under the spotlight. Years before dunning the Duchess title, Meghan Markle, the aspiring actress, had a brief stint as a briefcase model on the popular game show deal or no deal in 2006 and the following year. However, what most of you may not know is that she could have been vying for a rose on the long-running dating show, The Bachelor. Mike Fleiss, the creator of The Bachelor franchise, recently dropped a bombshell revelation that Meghan Markle seriously considered applying to be on The Bachelor right after her stint on Deal or No Deal. Can you imagine the royal family's collective gasp if that had happened? A member of the British monarchy competing for love on a reality dating show. The absurdity is mind-boggling. But here's where the plot thickens. Mike Fleiss, after getting the green light to disclose this shocking fact, immediately rejected the idea of having Meghan on his show. Why? Because he came face to face with the hideous truth about Meghan Markle. A truth that many of us have suspected, but rarely dare to voice. Meghan is two-faced and dangerous, willing to do anything for the spotlight and fame she so desperately craves. Meghan Markle's Hollywood dreams may have been shattered by a reality show producer who saw through her carefully crafted facade. Imagine the horror of the producers realizing that they were about to unleash a fame-hungry, manipulative force onto unsuspecting viewers. Mike Fleiss, in a moment of clarity, understood that Meghan Markle was not the right fit for The Bachelor. The decision to reject her from the show may have saved the franchise from a catastrophic PR nightmare. Fast forward to 2022, Meghan, now the Duchess of Sussex, decided to share details about her briefcase modeling days on Deal or No Deal in an episode of her Spotify podcast, Archetypes. She claimed that she was treated like a bimbo on the show, expressing her displeasure at being reduced to a specific archetype solely based on looks and lacking substance. Meghan lamented about feeling forced to conform to a cookie-cutter beauty ideal, highlighting the emphasis on physical appearance rather than intelligence. While Meghan may have had valid concerns about the objectification of women on the show, let's not forget that she willingly participated in the very environment she now criticizes. It seems convenient that she conveniently forgets her own role in perpetuating the very stereotypes she decries. It raises the question, is Meghan Markle truly a champion for women's rights, or is she merely using these narratives to further her own agenda? Her claims of feeling like she was not smart and being surrounded by smart women who were relegated to the sidelines are contradictory. If Meghan truly felt passionate about breaking free from the constraints of superficial judgments, why did she not use her platform on Deal or No Deal to challenge these norms actively? Meghan's Hollywood return dream may have been thwarted by a reality show producer, but it seems that her thirst for the spotlight remains unquenchable. The Duchess and her royal sidekick, Prince Harry, continue to play the victim game against the royal family, feeding the public a carefully curated narrative that conveniently omits their own shortcomings and questionable decisions. As we dissect Meghan's attempt to rebrand herself as a victim of the entertainment industry, let's not forget the bigger picture. Meghan Markle is a master manipulator, and her carefully crafted image often serves as a distraction from the real issues at hand. The royal family, whether you love them or loathe them, deserves a fair evaluation free from the biased lens of a Z-lister desperate for fame. In conclusion, the shocking revelation that Meghan Markle considered appearing on The Bachelor is a testament to the lengths she's willing to go to secure her place in the limelight. The rejection from the show may have saved us from witnessing a royal disaster on reality TV, but it doesn't absolve Meghan of her questionable actions and insatiable appetite for fame. As we navigate the ever-changing landscape of celebrity dramas, let's keep our eyes open to the true motivations behind the carefully crafted personas presented to us. The royal family may have its flaws, but Meghan Markle's attempt to play the victim is a plotline that deserves scrutiny and skepticism. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.